Welcome back. It's day two of your 14 day fertility challenge. I'm your host, Elizabeth Sherabati, and I'm really honored to have received back a number of messages about your fertile intentions for this year and uh, to be reading your posts on the group. It's amazing. So keep those coming. And your task for today is this charting your course. Okay, so this is one of the first things that I teach my clients about how to understand when they're fertile so that they can capitalize on their fertile window and time intercourse accordingly. So this is for each of you, whether or not you are choosing for natural conception or assisted reproduction this year, I still want you to understand your fertility and understand your cycle. Your cycle has so much information for you about your overall health, as well as of course about your fertility. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to get you to do a little bit of research. If you haven't yet started charting your course, I want you to look up a few different ways to do that. Now there's paper charting, there are a number of different apps out there, and I want you to choose a couple of different methods and look into them if you haven't chosen a method yet and then post what you find. And then if you are already charting and you have a method that you like and that works well for you, then I'd like you to share that with the group too. So basically you're gonna post your favorite charting method today. And here we're talking about basal body temperature charting or uh, menstrual cycle tracking or um, if you're using ovulation predictor kits, um, which ones are you using? Anything like that that has to do with charting and knowing when you're fertile is what you're going to be posting today. So I will look forward to your responses and we'll have a good chat about it. Talk to you soon.